Listen carefully. Anna's small business adventure. Anna had always loved making crafts. She spent hours in her room, creating bracelets, necklaces, and small decorations from beads, yarn, and fabric. One day, when she turned 18, Anna decided to turn her hobby into something bigger. She wanted to start a small online business to sell her handmade crafts. At first, Anna didn't know where to begin. She knew how to make beautiful items, but she didn't understand much about running a business. So she started to research. She watched videos about starting a business, read articles, and even talked to a few people who had their own shops. Anna realized there were many things she needed to learn. How to price her products, how to take good photos of them, and how to ship them to customers. After a few weeks of learning and planning, Anna finally launched her online store. She used a simple website to show her handmade crafts and shared the link with her friends and family. She also posted about it on social media, hoping to attract more people. At first, there were only a few sales. But Anna didn't give up. She knew that success wouldn't happen overnight. She kept working on improving her store. She learned how to write better descriptions for her products, and she started offering discounts for new customers. Slowly, more people started to visit her shop and buy her crafts. Anna also learned something important about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't just about selling products. It was about understanding her customers. She started to ask her customers for feedback. What did they like about her crafts? What could she improve? By listening to them, Anna was able to make better products and give better service. Running a small business was harder than Anna expected, but it was also exciting. Every sale made her happy, and she felt proud of what she was building. Anna knew there was still a lot to learn, but she was ready for the challenge. Learn new vocabulary and phrases. Entrepreneurship the process of starting and running a business. Example Anna wanted to learn about entrepreneurship to turn her hobby into a business. Craft A skill in making things by hand, often involving artistic work. Example Anna spent hours perfecting her craft by making jewelry and decorations. Handmade. Made by hand, not by machine. Example. Anna's store featured only handmade products, like bracelets and necklaces. Customer feedback. Comments and opinions from customers about a product or service. Example Anna used customer feedback to improve her designs. Launch To start something new, especially a business or project. Example After weeks of preparation, Anna was ready to launch her online store. Online store a website where people can buy and sell products. Example Anna created her own online store to sell her handmade crafts. Pricing Deciding the amount of money to charge for a product or service. Example Anna learned about pricing her products to make sure she could earn a profit. Social media 
websites and applications used to share content, and connect with others. Example Anna used social media to promote her online store and attract customers. Packaging The process of wrapping or boxing a product for sale or delivery. Example Anna carefully packaged her first sale in a small box. Speaking practice Anna's small business adventure Anna's small business adventure Anna's small business adventure Anna had always loved making crafts. Anna had always loved making crafts. Anna had always loved making crafts. She spent hours in her room, creating bracelets, necklaces. She spent hours in her room, creating bracelets, necklaces. She spent hours in her room, creating bracelets, necklaces, and small decorations from beads, yarn, and fabric. And small decorations from beads, yarn, and fabric. And small decorations from beads, yarn, and fabric. One day, when she turned 18, Anna decided to turn her hobby into something bigger. One day, when she turned 18, Anna decided to turn her hobby into something bigger. One day, when she turned 18, Anna decided to turn her hobby into something bigger. She wanted to start a small online business to sell her handmade crafts. She wanted to start a small online business to sell her handmade crafts. She wanted to start a small online business to sell her handmade crafts. At first, Anna didn't know where to begin. At first, Anna didn't know where to begin. At first, Anna didn't know where to begin. She knew how to make beautiful items. She knew how to make beautiful items. She knew how to make beautiful items. But she didn't understand much about running a business. But she didn't understand much about running a business. But she didn't understand much about running a business. So she started to research. So she started to research. So she started to research. She watched videos about starting a business, read articles, she watched videos about starting a business, read articles. She watched videos about starting a business, read articles. And even talked to a few people who had their own shops. And even talked to a few people who had their own shops. And even talked to a few people who had their own shops. Anna realized there were many things she needed to learn. Anna realized there were many things she needed to learn. Anna realized there were many things she needed to learn. How to price her products, how to take good photos of them. 
how to price her products, how to take good photos of them, how to price her products, how to take good photos of them, and how to ship them to customers. And how to ship them to customers. And how to ship them to customers. After a few weeks of learning and planning, Anna finally launched her online store. After a few weeks of learning and planning, Anna finally launched her online store. After a few weeks of learning and planning, Anna finally launched her online store. She used a simple website to show her handmade crafts. She used a simple website to show her handmade crafts. She used a simple website to show her handmade crafts. And shared the link with her friends and family. And shared the link with her friends and family. And shared the link with her friends and family. She also posted about it on social media, hoping to attract more people. She also posted about it on social media, hoping to attract more people. She also posted about it on social media, hoping to attract more people. At first, there were only a few sales. At first, there were only a few sales. At first, there were only a few sales. But Anna didn't give up. But Anna didn't give up. But Anna didn't give up. She knew that success wouldn't happen overnight. She knew that success wouldn't happen overnight. She knew that success wouldn't happen overnight. She kept working on improving her store. She kept working on improving her store. She kept working on improving her store. She learned how to write better descriptions for her products. She learned how to write better descriptions for her products. She learned how to write better descriptions for her products. And she started offering discounts for new customers. And she started offering discounts for new customers. And she started offering discounts for new customers. Slowly, more people started to visit her shop and buy her crafts. Slowly, more people started to visit her shop and buy her crafts. Slowly, more people started to visit her shop and buy her crafts. Anna also learned something important about being an entrepreneur. Anna also learned something important about being an entrepreneur. Anna also learned something important about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't just about selling products. It wasn't just about selling products. It wasn't just about selling products. It was about understanding her customers. It was about understanding her customers. It was about understanding her customers. 
she started to ask her customers for feedback. She started to ask her customers for feedback. She started to ask her customers for feedback. What did they like about her crafts? What did they like about her crafts? What did they like about her crafts? What could she improve? What could she improve? What could she improve? By listening to them, Anna was able to make better products. By listening to them, Anna was able to make better products. By listening to them, Anna was able to make better products. And give better service. And give better service. And give better service. Running a small business was harder than Anna expected. Running a small business was harder than Anna expected. Running a small business was harder than Anna expected. But it was also exciting. But it was also exciting. But it was also exciting. Every sale made her happy, and she felt proud of what she was building. Every sale made her happy, and she felt proud of what she was building. Every sale made her happy, and she felt proud of what she was building. Anna knew there was still a lot to learn, but she was ready for the challenge. Anna knew there was still a lot to learn, but she was ready for the challenge. Anna knew there was still a lot to learn, but she was ready for the challenge. Listen to the story again. Anna's small business adventure. Anna had always loved making crafts. She spent hours in her room, creating bracelets, necklaces, and small decorations from beads, yarn, and fabric. One day, when she turned 18, Anna decided to turn her hobby into something bigger. She wanted to start a small online business to sell her handmade crafts. At first, Anna didn't know where to begin. She knew how to make beautiful items, but she didn't understand much about running a business. So she started to research. She watched videos about starting a business, read articles, and even talked to a few people who had their own shops. Anna realized there were many things she needed to learn how to price her products, how to take good photos of them and how to ship them to customers. After a few weeks of learning and planning, Anna finally launched her online store. She used a simple website to show her handmade crafts and shared the link with her friends and family. She also posted about it on social media, hoping to attract more people. At first, there were only a few sales, but Anna didn't give up. She knew that success wouldn't happen overnight. She kept working on improving her store. She learned how to write better descriptions for her products, and she started offering discounts for new customers. Slowly, more people started to visit her shop and buy her crafts. Anna also learned something important about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't just about selling products. It was about understanding her customers. She started to ask her customers for feedback. What did they like about her crafts? What could she improve? 
By listening to them, Anna was able to make better products and give better service. Running a small business was harder than Anna expected, but it was also exciting. Every sale made her happy, and she felt proud of what she was building. Anna knew there was still a lot to learn, but she was ready for the challenge. Thank you for watching our video. Keep practicing English every day and you will see great improvements. Remember, every small step you take brings you closer to mastering the language. Happy learning!